Without further ado, all the way from Michigan, musician, singer, songwriter, poet, and the co-host of the American Tradition Show on the Indie News Network, it's Jesse Jett. from Due Distance for having me. This is uh, a really fun and surreal opportunity to be a part of. It's always fun to play this kind of music for people that know what they're in for and they know what to expect. <laughs> so um, I will keep my introductions brief so we can fit in as much into the set as possible. This is a song from uh, my last album, which was called Live from the Black Site. Uh, this is a song about really how far we've let uh, fascism into our lives, a lot of us without even realizing it. Uh, this is all the dust of better days. Took your neighbor today. Watch them as they walked him away. You told yourself extremists come in all different shapes. Met his eyes and lowered your gaze. Is it too late for us? ever change once we're collecting the dust better days they're always watching us but we're never safe but not meant to be safe not meant to escape we aren't meant to wake have stopped your daughter today and the straight her twice in the face he must have had good reason if he treat her that way at least that's what they taught you to say is it too late for us to have a change Once we're collecting the dust of better days They're always watching us but we're never safe We're not meant to feel safe Not meant to escape We're not meant to wake arrived and had you detained Said you'd made some posts they want shaped Chased you till you felt like you'd forgotten your name Or life before they had you detained oh, oh, oh. Life before they had you Insane. SWAT team took your name today. So, this next song, um, I would like to dedicate to. Uh, to Kit from Hard Lens Media, because I've had an awful yeah. lot of people tell me that they heard this song because it's been playing it on air, and uh, that just means the world. This is from a little EP called uh, Everyone Who Disagrees With You Is An Extremist. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Deep Pop Culture.
I guess this isn't such an awful place That what you want me to say You prove it's possible to save the days And to still think you're right here away The cost of living isn't much to make But God, it's so hard to save And when they told you everything was safe You will stay well, I guess this isn't such an awful place Is that what you want me to say? You prove it's possible to sleep with days And you still think you're right here away The cost of living isn't much to but God, it's so hard to say And when they told you everything was safe You're the same Fresh off the mass, the brand new cancerous growth Who has come here to vibe for your boat Come here to cry to the camps even mourn at the shore for the bodies that float By the wreck of an immigrant boat That it's back to their luxury home Couple security boots and a moat Couple cigars and less gargo Little booze and a soap And they just breathe in the steam and the smoke They got pink salt lab and your candles are low Well shit, when you do what you do, gotta lighten the load And he got a life of his own, it's a sight to behold it's a lot to control to decipher the code and siphon the soul. See, the cost of a good night's sleep for the work and you'll eat is a bargain, no matter the toll. Work any wager, and that comes straight from the mouth of the means to the goal. Who will swallow us whole? To a right for the picking if you don't mind home. And you know I don't. Maybe we're pleasantly drawn. Maybe we're taking or licking from quietly ticking and ticking and ticking, but never explode. I don't deliver the prettiest image, but damn if it isn't an accurate vision. A natural vision of a rage in the system, an abject heartbreak, patiently waiting for any who'll listen. See, that little blue bird who's watching your words is a federal carrier pigeon. That's a lightly first. It's a patient observer who hears what it wants and is trained for the worst. <laughs> oh, you got nothing to hide? They'll be the ones to decide that after they root through your purse, after they read all your taxes, after they raid your apartment and confiscate all of its contents, conjure up evidence out in the air while away in a prayer and malicious intelligence nonsense. Any presumption of innocence long since gone, right along with your comforts and constants. Now historically, first they will come for the communists. So why in the fuck would I say I'm a communist? Well, it might be I love my community more than the monsters of opulence who are holding us hostage, who are vomiting promises. It might be I'm all done watching our pensions and benefits harvested. It might be I'm all done watching the populace being disarmed in the guise of an armistice. Of watching a woman collapse on the floor who will rise no more, get wheeled out the door, and you're next in line for the pharmacist. Shit, if you could get me to vote, it's a hard no confidence. But part of the charm and deception is politics wearing the mask of incompetence. But it's all in the slime of scarily dawn, and it's all in the yard of the providence. Until home is as wide as your cubicle height, and only as deep as your confidence. Now maybe I'm miles away from impatient, thinking to break off the head of the snake with a capital loss, reptile brain, and margin of profit is. Like off with his. Like off with his. This isn't such an awful place Is that what you want me to say? You prove it's possible to sleep the days And to still think you're right here awake The cost of living isn't much to make God, it's so hard to say And when they told you everything was safe so, um, this is a uh, spoken word piece inspired by one of my local radio stations. Um,
I was on my way to work one morning and uh, the Doge Cat song, Paint the Town Red, came on the radio. <laughs> and they got to the part where she goes, ooh, she the devil. And they went, ooh, she the... And they cut. I was like, hey, just handed out the word devil, right? There's no way. So I waited a minute. And we get around to the next chorus. So I'm like, no, the station didn't cut out. That's exactly what they did. They edited the word devil. And it, <laughs> it made me uh, unreasonably angry because I'd spent the last few months watching what we do. <laughs> Uh, here to our own citizens around the world, and sorry, the gall of us to do that just just says so much about who we are that we we can commit some of the worst evil on the planet and still uh, feign you know feign uh, offense at a word like devil. And I I wrote this song. Luckily, it was a slow day at work. I write everything on forklift anyway. <laughs> this, this piece came out of it. Um, this is called Better the Censored. You know, don't you get. It? Radio station just censored the word devil. <laughs> Clearly, we are on a different level. I guess you wouldn't notice all the rolling boulders crashing past your shoulders when you're taught to shift your focus lower, screaming all the pebbles, cheering on the bombers because you can't abide the rebels. But I'll bet you'll bring your bloody hands when all this dust has settled, when the last little limb is pulled from Gaza's twisted metal. Then you can say how you were led astray, and never once in all your days would you have knowingly supported all this genocide for which you've clapped and prayed. But they baited you with unconfirmed blurbs about babies until you were filled with rage. And yet someone told you babies have been starving, bombed, and caged for nearly 80 years in Gaza, and you turned the other way. So regret, but make it fashion. Go and pluck that final petal off a hyacinth on Instagram for every kid they kettle. For every son that Israel imprisoned when they're little, that they tortured for a decade, then surprised with their acquittal. And when they got released and saw their parents and whatever siblings hadn't met the missiles, they stared right through their middle. Their eyes don't seem to focus, and their words are all but dribble, like they're pondering the darkest riddle. That is, how many false flags does it take to make humanity inhuman and uncivil, distorted by the rebel? That crooked slant where Israel contorts into America, where Biden's bathe and baby in a bloodbath in its bevel. I opened up my feed and I saw children disassembled, turned some music on and heard the station censored devil. Imagine thinking Doja Cat's a threat to moral fabric in the single largest terror cell that ever felled a temple that ever sparked a cleansing, that ever burned a market, that ever raped with bayonet or carpet-bombed apartments, that ever turned your water off and left you in the darkness, left you doing surgery on children while they're conscious. You sing the devil's praises every time you sing our anthem. You sing a hymn to him that watched us birth a million phantoms. You will proudly wave his flag, and yet you will not name the devil? Well, clearly, we are on a different level. I can give you names. Shit, I'll give you several. They say the devil wears a different face for every general, like a composite of the char we brought to fields of emerald and the wail of every childhood we made ephemeral. So who else has left the stain of blood on everything they touch? Who else can starve civilians and they don't so much as blush? Who else has paid for Gaza being flattened into dust? If there has ever been a devil on this earth, it is us. That's U.S. What an ugly couple letters. Feeding shit and ignorance to those it chose to tether. From the river to the sea, both are slowly growing redder. For the devil that you know just knows you better. It knows every gut reaction it could ever make you feel. It knows fear is that which wakes you up and gets you on your wheel. It knows just the kind of story that will justify its war. And the scripts are wrapped for World War IV. So just imagine my surprise to give the radio a listen and to hear such pious morals out of Zionists and Christians that they take the devil's name and try to clip it from existence while they carry out his bloody business. You would wave a fascist flag and yet you honor not your Iblis? Name you not Apollyon? Hush you now your witness? Bleed the name of Belial till tongue is rolling listless in the man-made mouth of Mammon as Lamia's whispers listen as carts are wheeling bodies through the cities that we crushed, and the very air is rotten with decay of all that was. Who else would censor devil, yet behave as Legion does? If there's ever been a devil on this earth, then it is us. U.S., but not a unity of souls. 
More a mass of corporations turning houses into holes, turning people into puppets, turning puppets into mold, turning mold into nutrition bars worth their weight in gold because they're bombing every bakery and burning every field with phosphorus that never once has wanted for a meal. The devil wears a mask and it delights in the reveal. In that moment where the face is let to peel, we do not love the underdog. We do not cheer the rebels. We lust for all their blood until the dust has finally settled. Then we pity just ourselves that we were so misled to rebel. Proudly wave his flag, and yet we will not name the devil. You might have noticed by now that, that bleak is kind of the name of the game for the majority of my, my subject matter. I don't, uh, I don't have an awful lot of comic relief. I put it in when I can, because otherwise I just want to go play in traffic. Um, <laughs> there also are, unfortunately, few uh, messages of, of hope to be found, because I, I feel minimal hope on a regular basis. Uh, not to say I never feel it. But um, it's, it's hard, as a lot of you know, if you know what's going on, it's, it's hard to stay positive. But this, this last song is uh, a song off of a record called The Griff. And it's, it's about how that feeling of helplessness uh, and that anger turns into what you need to force a change. Um, and it requires anger. Um, without further ado, this is powerless. Mm -hmm. oh. They'll gladly pay you by the hour for a minute or so So you can sign off on the towers where they'll piss on your homes And if you feel like you're just powerless to answer the no It's cause you are I'll gladly pay you by the hour for a minute or so So you can sign off on the towers where the piss on your own And if you feel like you're just powerless to answer them, no It's cause you are It's cause you are They'll gladly stagnate a living wage, snap the chains and bury it. Labor slaves and rusty can't just drag behind a chariot. Led by Mr. Racial Jungle, Joseph Barr is scary. Fighting over scraps as they arrive us all with variants and bus speed tech bait. Straight until we're paralyzed, fighting to distract us from the concentration camps and children. So we close, but only chose to amplify. Where they got 50 something kids in cages made for five to occupy. And no, she hasn't seen the camps, but Harris swears they're paradise. She tells us the facilities are safe and they're right down to the women. They are regularly sterilized. Then she throws her head back and she proceeds to laugh that sort of heartless cackle you'd expect from someone working steadfastly on behalf of the virus and this Congress full of parasites. But where was I? I was busy cashing every blue check, demonstrating plainly all the narratives expected from the verified. I was busy breeding verbal leeches by the terabyte and train them to exsanguinate the wealthy while they sleep at night. Bleed the oil barons dry and bare and say they showed us how to share and now we share alike. Tell my contracted ladies from a feral mic. Now I'm just another species losing sleep to noise pollution and these glaring lights. Forced to change its habits and adapt to just survive. But now it's safe to say that some of us are thriving in the moment, throwing shit on presidential homes beneath the Paris skies. So if you feel like you're just powerless, I guess you bought the lie. But I can tell you're petrified of our collective might, because I can hear those gentrifiers weeping at the sight of our collective rights. 
I only can imagine the intensifying fear of knowing revolution's near, and all that's left to do is simply wallow in the thick anticipation of a rapid bite. <laughs> and maybe one day you can ask your leaders just what that was like before you grab a slice. <laughs> oh, if you think you're powerless, allow me now to change your mind. Honey, if you think you're powerless, allow me now to change your mind. You see, they'll pay you hourly, tax them each apart, and build a shining tower out of loopholes and cards, and tell you that you're powerless to keep you in the dark, because you aren't. Because we aren't. You see, they'll pay you hourly, tax them each apart, and make you build a shining tower out of loopholes and cards, where they'll tell you that you're powerless to keep you in the dark, because you aren't. Because we aren't. And that's powerless. Thank you guys. Please clap.